Hey guys, what's going on? Today I want to talk about <clears throat> John Chang, Nakong, and the Mopai method that he's used to create magnificent chi-like power to demonstrate ridiculous abilities. So if you've seen the Ring of Fire documentary or you've read the book Magis of Java, you are very familiar with what I'm talking about. If you're not, you may want to refer to the Ring of Fire documentary that you can watch on YouTube for free or get the book, The Magis of Java. Um, so, I read The Magis of Java about 10 years ago. A friend gave me the book because he knew I was a hypnotist and I was into crazy stuff like that. And so, he let me borrow the book. I wasn't too much of a reader at that time. But I devoured that book really fast, and I really felt like the information felt real. Because um, there's a lot of frauds and people doing magic tricks and, and things to, to say that they're doing chi-like abilities when they're actually not, and it's magic tricks. Because you can easily simulate the effect of burning the newspaper when you have uh, a compound that you can rip while you're ripping the newspaper so then it starts to fizzle, ha fizzle, have a chemical reaction and it starts to create fire. Um, but the story with John Chang seemed a lot different. When I read the book, I'm not even sure if YouTube was around back then or I don't even think I was, you know, technology was different 10 years ago. Uh, not like it is today. But the information was out there. <clears throat> so, I've always had this story in my mind for a while. And about four years ago, I actually started to practice his method based on the teachings of some of his students. It's pretty amazing because, because some of his students have started to come out and talk on the internet and share information. Um, and there's enough information to get started with the method that John Chang uses. Now, I'm a student. I don't have all the answers. I never met John Chang. Apparently, he died from organ failure a little bit ago, uh, a couple years ago. I'm not sure when exactly, but that's, that's the word anyways. Anyhow, I never met this guy, and I've never met any of the students. But what I've been doing is I've been researching, reading Costa's book, The Magic of Jabba, the second book he came out called Nakong, and there's another student of his that actually passed away as well, um, Jim McMillan. And before he passed, he went on a forum and he laid out all the methods and ways to do it. Now why I followed these methods is because Jim McMillan actually has a videotape with him doing testing with John Chang knocking over cardboard boxes right so the journey has been studying all this material and connecting all the dots because here's here's my thought on it you know if you want to get oxygen in your body you simply just need to breathe right of course, there's a lot of different methods to breathe, and some are better than others, and some are more effective, right? But if you breathe, you get oxygen. And so I think, okay, so chi energy and storing chi in the body is probably a natural phenomenon, right? If, it's a, if you can do it, and it makes the body work better, and it turns on your entric system, which is the nervous system that's inside your gut, connected to the... Uh, the gut brain and it and it turns on the energy meridian lines I would think it's this a fairly simple natural process right so there's a lot of dots to connect and at the same time using common sense to understand what the F is going on here right with your body so so I've been practicing the method right I've been practicing it pretty much daily for about six months now. I did it a while, I did it uh, four years ago for a little while, but I stopped. Um, and I just restarted this last six months. And I can tell you, 
I fucking feel the energy. It's kind of hard to believe people when they talk about sensations and things because people could be imagining stuff, right? I'm trained as a stage hypnotist. I've hypnotized hundreds of people, right? I know what it's like when someone's <laughs> hallucinating a feeling, right? And I realize that that can happen to us when we're doing these methods and, and we're in meditation and you have ideas of what can happen and you start self-hypnotizing yourself to have sensations, right? Well, I've gone, I've done a couple testing to make sure that I'm not hallucinating, um, which I really don't think I am. So here's the sensations I have, right? So first off, I have like an electrical sensation that runs in my teeth and through my tongue and on my lips. Um, when I'm relaxed and focused is when it's the strongest. If I'm laying down, it's strong and focused. It, it becomes prominent and uh, I can feel it very, very easily um, when I'm relaxing or, or focused or sitting down and just breathing. Um, I can feel the heat in the Dantian area just below the belly button, which is four fingers below your belly button that point um, I may go in another video. I may go into the exact method that I've put together and, and put it uh, Put some references in if I have enough response with some of these videos. I think I will Because um, I think some people you know there are people out here looking for the information and I've done a lot of research and I could save a lot of people a lot of time of course, you got to do your research, though. Just because I say some things and some other people say some things, you just got to, you always got to question things and, and use your own discernment. It's so important. Because some people hurt themselves doing this. Uh, like one of his students, Jim McMillan, which apparently he was one of the, his, uh, John Chang's fastest progressing students. But the guy ended up getting some kind of, he's either prostate or or uh, colon cancer, and the guy fucking died. Does the, did the training have anything to do with it? I would probably think so, although it's hard to say, especially with all the environmental factors that cause cancer. You know, it could have been his eating habit, it could have been toxins, who knows, man. But So what are the other sensations I'm having? Well, there's been times after meditation I lay down and I, I feel an electric shock go through my body, which is, I mean, what is an electric shock? It's simply the buildup of two energies that finally release and touch, right? Just like when you have a lightning, you have a buildup of positive energy and you have a buildup of, you have negative energy that's just there ready to, to, uh, to serve the positive energy. And as soon as you have enough of that positive, the positive ions up in the clouds, bam, you get that lightning once it reaches a certain peak. So there's been some times after meditation where I just get like a bam, and it's just like a surge of energy, no, not a surge of energy, but like a shock, which I believe is a lot of yin chi in the brain, in the third eye, and a lot of yang chi in the Dantian. If you read Costa's books, it goes well into the difference between yin and yang chi. It's very important to know about that. Um, other sensations that I have is, you know, I feel not muscularly stronger, but just like I am highly, more highly resistant to pain. Not that I can withstand pain more, it's that things just don't hurt as much. For example, I had, I was, I was swinging my leg. I was like, I was doing like a stretch routine, right? I was taking my leg and I was just like going back and forth really hard, right? Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> and I slammed my toe straight into a corner. Like I kicked it straight on. I didn't have any shoes on. I fucking stubbed my toe and I stood back and I was like, oh shit, this is gonna hurt. And I did not feel any pain. Why do I think it's from the meditation and from the chi? Because I just have this feeling on my body like an extra layer of protection. Another example, I had a, a couple times because there was a, a, a place in a garage. I had 
there was a, a piece of sheet metal that fell on my leg, right? You know, if you ever have like a piece of sheet metal just like fall on you and that edge can just like scrape your skin off. But it was a nice, heavy, thick piece. Fell off and, and pushed on my leg. And where I, it normally should have like scraped some skin off, it was almost like I had a little bit of a padding on me that kept it from doing it. And this happened twice because I stepped in that same spot two times and the thing freaking uh, scraped my leg. It just didn't do it as much as possible. And I, and I can I got hit in the head with a softball when I, during a practice. Uh, I didn't have any pain or any bruising. Um, I'm not impervious to pain because I do get cuts and everything. That, that does happen. But there's like a small resistance there, you know? Um... I practice a lot of different health techniques, so it's, it's hard to really pinpoint exactly when it's happening as far as results from the treat, the tra training from the Nae Kong. Um, but I can definitely feel the sensations, you know? Especially when it's going through my face and my mouth. I've also had sensations of, it almost feels like what I think it is, is, oh shit, I just stepped on like a thorn. Okay. <laughs> I also have the sensations of like almost like stagnant energy just being like like pins and needles pushed through my body what I think it is is as I'm putting more chi into my body the energy meridian lines are filling up with chi this is my own theory I don't know if this is real or not I'm all I'm trying to figure this stuff out Half the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of you going to post some comments and maybe give me some clues. Um, if you got to troll, man, don't troll. Just fucking do your own practice and fucking make your own life happen instead of being a bitch. Anyhow, I have this sensation every so often. Um, it happened more so in the beginning. And it's, it's, it stopped because I feel like I've kind of like awakened the entric system or the energy meridian system whatever's going on i feel like i woke it up a little bit and energy just kind of pumps through my system when i'm laying down and i can feel my heartbeat i almost feel like this vibration happening at the same time that's with the heartbeat that's not just a heartbeat it's it's like a wave almost and a vibration at the same time really hard to describe it's almost like hey Describe the taste of salt to me. I've never tasted salt. Describe how salt tastes, right? You could sit there and try to think of something to say, but <laughs> unless you actually taste salt, you're not going to know what salt tastes like. So unless you feel chi going through your body, you're not going to know what chi feels like, right? So I'm just trying to describe this stuff. I know a lot of you guys are interested you know what the fuck to do right so uh there's some facebook groups with people who have been studying the mopai and i've talked with people who have been students of john chang or a student of a student of john chang they're out there man they're out there there's facebook groups you just got to be careful because some people think they know what they're talking about and they might but they may skew the information like, I think I might know some stuff, but I might be skewing some things too, and I might be doing some things wrong. So I always keep that in the back of my mind to keep the discernment and always question, right? Question myself, question the method, even in the books. Even from the master sometimes. But that's up to you, right? Um, hey, if you get any more questions about the Nakung and the Mopai and the method and all this stuff... I've done a lot of research on it. I've been practicing this a good amount, and I might have some answers for you to lead you to how you can better understand it. And um, you know, if this, if at least all this stuff gets you to meditate daily and to cultivate chi energy, you know, then that's a huge plus because it will bring you better health and better life if you do it right. Um, you know, we don't have to get to some crazy level like John Chang did where he's, you know, creating fire with his hands. Um, 
but we can get to levels of higher health where you can feel robust, you can feel strong, you can get your vitality back, and uh, you know you can get you can get on track because this process eventually leads to enlightenment. What does that mean? Basically, the process is to fill up all your chakras, and there's 72 of them, up with chi. And there's various ways to do it, and there's a lot of different methods that have been taught throughout the centuries. This is one where there's a guy who demonstrated it, and it's real. So... I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the notification button too so when you get a video, you actually get the notification or else it just kind of goes into the, into the background. Like this video. Share it with anyone else who's wondering about this information. And make sure to comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. And if I can answer them and get you those answers, I will do so. This is Michael Grady. I'll talk to you later. Take care.